Hey all, it's Flavin here. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on a simple way to implement Unity ads into your game. So we're going to start out with a blank project. I'm going to try to keep this short and simple to the point, and then at the end I might add a few extra gotchas uh, in case you get some things wrong. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to add ourselves a button element. You could add a text mesh pro as well if you want, but the main thing that we're looking for here is a button. It's going to automatically add a canvas, uh, and that's all we're going to be doing inside of Unity for a little while. Then we're going to jump over to our browser. One second. Go to our Unity ads, and I will add a link to this page right here. Now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be walking through and getting our code from here, and we're going to be installing a package from the package manager. In Unity 2020, Point one and onwards, the asset store is no longer a thing. Um, so they want you to do everything through Open Packet Manager. Okay, so if you don't know where that is, if you go to Window, then Package Manager, it will take you to this window. Under Packages, you can click this little dropdown. Just make sure it's set to Unity Registry as opposed to In Project um, because it won't be in your project yet. Um, so in Unity Registry, search Advertisement or Advertisement, whatever suits. Uh, and you're going to be looking for this one here. Now you're going to install this. Now you can uh, update to make sure that you have the latest version. This is 3.49. I will actually just update this quick. Um, it's not a long one and I will come back to you when it's done. So now we've got 3.6.1. That's good. The next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to create a little C sharp script and we're going to call that my advert button. Really, it doesn't matter. You could name it whatever you want, um, as long as you have a C Sharp script here. Because we are then going to be jumping into this doc here. The link will be in the description for this if I haven't already got it. And you're going to be scrolling all the way down till you find your rewarded video ads button, which should be the last line of code that's inside of this link. I'm going to copy this whole thing and I'm going to paste over the entire script, but keep in mind that mine is called my advert button. So I'm just going to have to replace that with my advert button at the end. That's just because that's what I named the script inside of Unity, uh, and it will give me a whole lot of errors if it doesn't like that. Now, this will work almost entirely as is. There are a few things we need to do to activate it though. The first thing, if you want to actually run ads against your own ad ID, you're going to need a Unity project. Um, so if I jump, and you can get to there from here, actually. If you look for just a little bit down, it will say developer dashboard. Take this URL link, but if you haven't found this, you can just go directly from uh, Google and just search Unity developer dashboard. I'm going to create a project in here, and I'm just going to call this Unity add test. That's fine. And we won't worry about that because it will give me a few extra steps. Sorry, inside of my Unity add test project. Okay, so I've created my project. I'm now going to click this little hamburger up the top, go down to monetize, go to dashboard. Then it's going to take me to my studio. So I'm going to go up to projects. I'm going to click on the one I just created here. And then it's going to give me a little enable ads button. So if I click that, I'm going to start fresh. Uh, I am using Unity Ads as my only provider, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, it will create this little monetization tab here with the little placements. So if you've already got a project and you've already got everything set up in Unity, you could just go to monetize and then go monetization into placements, and you will be here. There's also a link if you've got it inside of here that basically takes you straight to placements from here, which is nice. Now, these two IDs are effectively what we came here for. One is for the Apple Store, one is for the Google Play Store. All we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying my Apple Store ID. We're going to be putting it over my Unity iOS, because that is Apple. And then we're going to take my Play Store. I'm going to paste that over there. Save our code here. And then you'll notice that we've got a few errors here. So it says the game ID doesn't exist in the current context. This is because currently I am, I've just opened a blank project. So I'm not set to either Apple or Android, which means if I jump back into my project, I'll have a few errors here. 
So I can go to File, Build Settings, select Android, and then select Switch Platform. Okay, and when that's done, the little Unity logo is on my Android. Now what will happen, if I jump back into my scene view, open up my code here, you'll see I no longer have errors here, and this will now no longer be grayed out, and that is because I'm on the Android platform. I will scroll down, just have a look at what we've got here. This is just a bit of quotation marks that didn't copy properly, we'll ignore that for now. Now inside of my game, I'm going to click on my bottom object, I'm going to add the component, which is the my advert script. Uh, I've got that there, and then I'm just going to hit play and test it. So if I click this, it says yes, everything seems to be working. <clears throat> that's great, that's how you implement Unity Ads. Now, if that's all you needed uh, and everything is working, then that's great. And I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you did run into some errors or you'd like to understand now what we've actually done, um, I'll do a brief summary of that now. So what this code actually does is firstly, it requires a component of button. And that's why we had to put it directly onto our button here. And then it is going to, <clears throat> at runtime, grab the button component that it's attached to. And then it's going to make sure that our button is only interactable once an ad is ready to be placed. Then it's going to add an on-click listener event uh, so that when we click it, it's going to do the function show rewarded video ad, which is going to actually try show my placement. Now what that is going to do eventually when it gets down to here is this basically, basically this code here. So it's going to when the show result is finished, that means that someone watched the advert the entire way through, they didn't skip anything, and it didn't fail to provide an ad. This is where you would actually put in some code to say, you know, user gets extra currency or user gets whatever um, for completing the, the ad. Maybe it's in-game currency or so. This one here, this is when you can actually set this inside of the uh, portal to make these ads not skippable. But um, if you do choose the option to have it skipped, it basically, you can give them either a half reward. I don't know why you would really, <laughs> but um, you can effectively just, you know, give a different result here. And failed, this is just, well, this is a debug.log, but um, essentially it just says, okay, for, for some reason or another, the, the advert failed to show. And these two here are just uh, callback events to basically say that uh, did the ad error or did the ad actually start? which is fine. Uh, there's not really any reason to use either of these unless you're doing something slightly more complex. There's only one other piece in here to really cover off in this video, and that is the rewarded video. So what you'll notice here is this uses the placement ID that I've got here, and this is a string of currently called rewarded video. Now this is a default type of placement that is added when you just create a project. Um, so what this rewarded video is, is this is the type of video that you'll see in the vast majority of games, but it's the type of video that gives you, plays, plays an ad for a certain amount of time and that is intended to then reward the player with some currency. The other types of videos are just a displayable video. Um, I believe you can effectively do much the same thing with this, but then basically you could also have, you know, banner ads or so, um, that can be played at different times. Your most common one is going to be this. You could also create a brand new rewarded video and you could call this whatever, literally whatever you want to call it. And all it's going to do is it's going to create a new one here named whatever, and it's also going to be a rewarded video. Now, if I wanted to differentiate the different types of rewards I'm showing someone, the different types of ads I'm showing someone, sorry, then what I could do is I could change this my placement ad to be my whatever video. And this may be useful in some cases, like let's say you wanted to know where they were clicking to see the different ads at different times. You could log that internally in your app, or you could log that by basically creating different rewarded ads in here and attaching them to different buttons. So they would, you would know what, what place it's net being used. And that's really it. Um, the only place where this can really go wrong is if you've already got packages. Um, let's say you've got an old project in place and you already had Unity ads. Uh, that can make things a little confusing because you might have some inside of here um, for instead of advertisement, you might have something called Unity Ads. Um, I think that was the old version from the Asset Store. But basically, you would just be effectively deleting that folder and replacing it with your advertisement. 
I think that's about it. Uh, any questions, please post them in the comments. If you enjoy me doing videos like this, uh, please let me know and let me know what you would like to see next. See ya.